G'day, my name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. So what I want to do for you in this video is basically just show you a couple of techniques. Now I am going to use a mannequin head. It's hard to um, get the result on a mannequin head, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. Lately I've been uploading Tuesday to Friday. I hope you've been enjoying the videos. I would love to hear from you guys. So don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoy these videos, share them with your friends. I hope you like this one. So I see this all the time. People actually don't even know how to use the curling iron properly. So there's a right way and there's a wrong way. So what we're going to show you first is the actual wrong way of doing it. Where they just run the curling iron in and they're running it all the way up the head. But you're actually overlapping all the hair. So it's actually never going to get curly on the ends. The heat's not going to get all the way through the hair and make the root area curly. As you can see when I pull this out it doesn't even make a dint on a curl. There's a little bit of curl on the bottom but that's about it. I mean it's pretty much straight otherwise. So now let's show you the correct way. Well, what I think is the correct way. Uh, whenever you're working with heat, I always put hot off the press or something to protect the hair a little bit, uh, just so it doesn't damage or dry out the hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the curling iron right here. I'm going to start on the mid lens and actually start twisting it halfway down the head. So you can see as I'm pulling that tighter, it's not overlapping the hair. So the hair's getting heat all the way through the hair strand from the bottom all the way to the ends. Now you can leave the ends out and leave them straight if you want. Or as you're twisting it, you can see I'm slightly opening and closing just to wrap that hair to make sure it gets all the way in there. You can leave, I normally typically leave this in for about 30, 40 seconds. Make sure the heat gets all the way through there and it forms that S bend. Working with a mannequin head isn't the best example, but you can see the technique, so that's the most important. Now as I'm pulling it out, you can see on this one, the S-Bend does go all the way to the root area. So you'd work your way all the way through, making sure that we get that nice curl to it. But again, this is not 100% um, human hair, so we're not getting the best curl as it is. But I think it's to show you more the technique and style that we're looking for. So here's another little trick that we like to use. So when we get to the front or the hairline, I'm going to grab my cutting comb. I'm just going to lay it on her forehead there just to make sure when I put the curling iron down that it doesn't actually touch her skin. So it's going to touch the comb first and that way we don't burn our clients, which I see happen time and time again.
So again, I know we're not getting the best curl with the mannequin head, but it's more about the technique that I wanted to share with everyone. So don't forget, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload next, and I'd love you to leave a comment down below.